It's not really like we're picking this random, you know, we're going to do 24 courses because we want to outdo the guy next door because he did 23. It has nothing to do with an actual number. It really is just how the flavor progresses. It's all small one bite, so the way I design each bite, that's very important. I have to accomplish everything in that one bite. So the complete flavor has to be there in that one bite, and then it also has to be able to lead into the next bite. It's really trying to accomplish from a flavor profile and experience. First I envision what do I want that to be, so what do I want to eat in that progression, and then how many courses it ends up being is just when we've eaten through and found out, okay, that feels like it's enough. The menu is not all sushi, it's about 50% sushi. Then there's also combines creative sashimi and cooked foods. If you go into Japan, most tasting menus are omakase you get. You'll get a few snacks, so to speak, in the, in the beginning, and then you finish up with uh, a lot of nigiri or sushi. And I've flip-flopped that and started with the sushi. And the reason that I've done that is when you come in, I know people are hungry, especially in a restaurant like this. It's a tasting menu, so you probably have not eaten much that day. So I want to give you a little something, you know, sustenance, and I want you to come in and have some, you know, feel like, okay, you know, you're getting going, but not fill you up. You know, everyone has different diets. If you eat breakfast and lunch, that's fine. And then you come in, you eat dinner. It's not going to be any more filling than if you went and had a nice few vegetables and pasta and some roast chicken and a dessert and a salad, coffee. I wouldn't prepare yourself and think you have to starve yourself for three days because you're going to be just totally packing yourself with food.